What's up, everyone? On this week's episode, we'll be talking about getting to know our new right tackle, Kendall Lamb. I'm your co-host, Joe the Thrill, and the Mr. Tight Enough Show starts right now. What it do, what it do, what it do? Yeah. Show, yeah. The Mr. Hey, hey, hey. I know, show, yeah. The Mr. What it do, what it do, what it do, what it do. You tune into the Mr. Tighten Up Show, man, and I'm your host, the one and only Mr. Tighten Up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, on today's show, man, we're going to talk about the new offensive lineman that we picked up back in March by the name of Kendall Lamb. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So who is Kendall Lamb? We're going to get into this business and see what's really crackalacking with the new cat that we just picked up. And as usual, you know what I'm saying, we're going to have the Titan up fan of the week. And of course, man, y'all know my co-host, Jill the Thrill. She's most definitely in the building. So y'all sit back and relax, man. You know what you're watching. You know what time it is. It's the Mr. Titan Up Show, y'all. And I'll be right back. Let's go. showed pure run formation you mentioned lamb as the extra lineman they also had both backs in the game and chubb playing fullback there's the fake to him and cream hunted tailback the opportunity here with the titans why why was it the right fit for you so i literally got that question a second ago um we'll, we'll flash back to cleveland man just running the ball the way we did and the things that we could do there uh, it, it's top notch. And then when the opportunity arose and came here, I mean, literally I had Nick Chubb as a running back in Cleveland. If you want to argue it, one of the only people in this league that may be better is as you guys call him King Henry. So the fact that I would have, you know, had the opportunity to block for a man like that, someone who's so top notch. And then at the same time, you know, I know coach Vrabel from, from Houston when I played there my first four years, top notch guy. I, I know Ben Jones. I played against the Titans for years now and, and just know the type of organization and the type of team that's always been here. So the fact that I could come in here and, you know, try to help and do the best that I can. I mean, I couldn't blink at it, man. It, it was a beautiful spot and not to throw into, I'm literally from Charlotte, North Carolina. I went to school at App State. This is not far from home. So to have my family closer to couldn't pass it up. Damn motherfucker. You know what time it is. You tuned in to the Mr. Tighten Up Show with my dog booting up. Tighten the fuck up. Let's go. Welcome back, y'all. All right, y'all, man. Let's go ahead and dive into the homeboy, Kendall Lamb, y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Kendall Lamb was born June the 5th, 1992, from Charlotte, North Carolina. Actually, you know, he just turned 29 last month. So, yeah. Um, he was born in Charlotte, North Carolina, and in college, he went to Appalachian State, and he was there for four years, y'all, four years. He, he did the whole four years. And uh, the kid came into the NFL, you know what I'm saying, uh, undrafted, undrafted in the Houston, Texas, picked him up back in 2015. So then after that, y'all, he played, well, last season, he played with the Browns. For one year, you know what I'm saying? And his whole career in the NFL, he played 74 games, and he started 27 games. And, of course, you know, he's the offensive lineman right tackle. So, you know what I'm saying? He weighs 310 pounds, y'all. 310 pounds, and he's six foot five. So, solid. Solid. Of course, that's what you need as an offensive lineman. You got to be solid buff. You can't be... All scrummy and all that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, and as you know, the Titans, we picked up land for two years, y'all, for $6.8 million, which means he got $3 million guaranteed. So we will have Kendall Lamb for two years, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 
as you know, as we picked him up back in March, I, you know, I checked out his interview when he first touched down as the Titans. I checked out his interview and then automatically when I just by listening to him, listening to his response and everything, I said, man, this guy's humble. You know what I mean? This guy, this guy here is real humble. So, you know what I mean? So a good guy. He's real, he's real cool down to earth guy. I even had a chance to talk to him on IG as well. So, you know what I'm saying? I've been chopping it up with Kendall Lamb as well. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, cool dude, man. I'm going to go ahead and tell you what, what we was, t well, a little bit what we was talking about, man. So I, I chopped it up with him, man. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, I was like, man, I, I said, congratulations, man. And welcome to the team. You know what I'm saying? And he responded back. I didn't think he was going to respond back, but he responded back. And it shocked me. I ain't even going to front y'all. It shocked me. So, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and I told him that it shocked me. And he was like, uh, <laughs> why did it shock you for me to reply back? He, and then he was like, I'm just a guy that just loves football. I said, man, this guy right here, I like this guy already. But, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Cool down the earth cat, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad to have him on the team. And as y'all know, man, we played them last year. We played them last year, the Cleveland Browns, and they beat us. That was the guy, that offensive lineman that scored that touchdown. You know what I'm saying? That was Kendall Lamb that scored that touchdown on us. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, man. I really like this guy, man. You know what I'm saying? I, uh, as y'all know, Dennis Kelly ain't with us no more. So there, there it is. I think Kendall Lamb's gonna hold it down, hold it down just as good as Dennis Kelly did. Maybe better. Maybe better. You know what I'm saying? So I'm happy to have him on the team, man. I really am. I'm really happy to have him on the team. Um, uh, as you know, we had a couple of old linemen in our past that scored a touchdown as well. You know what I'm saying? Um. Uh, of course, Dennis Kelly did it back in 2019, the AFC Championship game against the Chiefs. He did it. Taylor Lewan, he did it. So, man, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's like if it comes down to that situation and we need an old lineman to score a touchdown, we got a guy that knows how to do it and done did it before in Kendall Lamb. So, you know what I mean? So, yeah, like I said, man, I'm very excited to have the guy on the, on the, on the team. You know what I'm saying? Um uh, we're going to have to have a good O-line, for real, just to protect Ryan Tannehill, you know what I'm saying, so he can get that ball out there to A.J. Brown and give it to Julio Brown, you know what I'm saying? Because you, like you said, we all know what the eyes, what the defense is going to be focusing on as much. So we, they, we already know that. We already know what the defense is going to scheme up and make plays for on our offense. It's just little bits that they can do because there's a whole lot of things that they can't do, like stacking up the box. They better not try to stack up that box. But I'm going to talk about that on another show, man. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I'm pumped. I I'm super pumped about this. I was super pumped about Kendall Lamb, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he's, as you know, he's, a, he's, a, he's a pretty much a veteran now as well. So, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, I, like I said, I'm excited to have him. I'm super excited to have him on the team. All right, y'all, man. I'm going to go ahead and pass this thing to my co-host, Jill the Thrill. You know what I'm saying? And she's going to let y'all know what's going on next. Hey, Jill, what's on your mind? What's on your mind? Let them know. Now for the Titan Up Fan of the Week, Isaac. Yeah. D D M T U S. This is fire. The Mr. Titan Up Show. Yeah. The Mr. Just like I'm Henry, I'ma run with the ball straight up the middle Thinking that I'ma lose my guard, not even little You guys thinking that you is hard, you made me giggle You can't even be a quarterback cause you only a nickel DMTUS, harder than brittle You got high weekly highlights and we gon' scribble down and tighten up Fan of the week, many like pixels, what it do, what it do You should really know the riddle Tighten up, tighten up, tighten up, tight tough Tighten up, tighten up, tighten up, tighten tough Hey Titan fans, my name is Brandy. I'm from Clarksville, Tennessee, and you're watching the Mr. Titan Up Show. Titan Up! Welcome back, y'all. All right, y'all, man, before I wrap this up, man, I'd like to take the time to say thank you to every one of y'all for watching my show. And those that are new, can I get y'all to do something for me real quick? Can I get y'all to smash up the like, smash up the like, smash up the like buttons, and hit that subscribe button? 
I sure appreciate it. And before I end the show, I got to give props what props is due, man. As y'all know, last week was the Lady Hype and Hype Man Takeover OMG. They took over the whole entire show. They came from Jacksonville, Florida to Nashville, man. You know what I'm saying? To show the support. You know what I'm saying? Took over the whole entire show. And as y'all see, man, them cats right there. Man, hey. All I got to say, man, is this, man. If they didn't hype y'all up, man, something is wrong with y'all for real. <laughs> hey, man. Can y'all just imagine being with them at a football game or even watching the Titans game with them, man? You know what I'm saying? It's just being in their presence, man. All right, you ain't got no choice but to get hyped when you're around them. So salute to Lady Hype and Hype, man. For the takeover, man, I sure appreciate it, man. Y'all did a good job, man. And thank y'all so much. You know what I'm saying? And also, man, you know, um, we're getting close, y'all. We're getting real, real close to training camp. This is the month where training camp starts. So, you know what I'm saying? At the end of July, the beginning of August. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, as we know, fans can go to training camp this year. And you already know the Mr. Titan Up show will be in the building. So, you know what I mean? It's different rules that they got going on. So, I, we won't be able to get close to the players. You know what I'm saying? Won't be none of that autograph and taking pictures and stuff. So, but we'll see how it turned out, man. We'll see how this turned out, man. Because that scrimmage game at Nissan Stadium, I think that's going to be everything. So, yeah. I'm super excited. I know y'all super excited and pumped because y'all already know what we got this coming season. Hey, man, we locked and loaded. <laughs> I'm ready for a team to run up on us this year. What y'all going to do? Run up. Stack the box if you want to. Go ahead and stack the box and watch what happens. <laughs> yes, sir, baby. All right, this is our year, man. I'm calling it right now, man. I'm calling it right now. This is our year, man. Real talk. Real talk. All right, y'all, man. Until next time, man. Thank y'all so much for watching the show. And you already know what it is with your boy. Tighten up. Let's get tight. Tough. Tighten up, y'all. Yep. Yeah.